Um, when the knee is bending a lot, we're getting this weird, weird thing happening here. Um, what I can do is you can use what's called the overlay tool or the overlap tool. And the overlap tool basically dictates where what mesh will sit in front of the other mesh when it starts to overlap or fold on top of itself. So if I click here, for instance, this mesh on the overlap will sit in front of anything else around it. It takes priority. So um, I'm going to just increase. I can change my variables up here. I want to put it to probably 100. And let's just put it here and uh, here because uh, this this I want this to take priority. So let's let's have a look again at what happens. So that doesn't look as bad. It's a little better. I'm not getting so much weird stuff happening when I do this. It of course breaks here, but there's not a lot I can do about that. If I really 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 wanted to, I suppose we could. I could starch that that cuff. I'm just not sure if the results would be very good. But hey, why don't we try it? Let's try it. So I'm going to starch this, and but I think the key will be turning down the extent to 100, uh, maybe 150. I just want to cover all these pieces here. I'm going to pull it over just a bit. I don't know if this will work though. It might. I mean, it, it might work. Okay, and so the next thing, oh, I don't like that. Let's get it so, it's actually really slow to move move pins around, starch pins and stuff like that around. And on this, I'm really, I really want the amount to be quite small, so I'm gonna go 0 0.01, it'll do point, point zero 0.05. Cool. Okay, so let me try this, let's see what happens. Well, that actually worked pretty good. I've got a lot more push on that. And it's a weird digital line there, but that doesn't matter. I got a lot of push on that and it doesn't look too bad. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not like amazing, but it's giving me a little more distance to work with. So actually that's pretty good. The only weird part I don't love is what's happening here in the in the front of the leg. Uh, so let's see. There's so much starch going on in this thing. Um, maybe I'll expand this starch a little bit. Which one is this? If you click on them, the layer will get highlighted. I'm going to put this to 250. And I might actually move this. Let's see if I can move this over a little. It may not let me. It's starting to get pretty slow around here. Okay, let's see what this does. So it is a lot of experimentation, unfortunately. It's just you just can't get around it. Animation takes a lot of work, and this is part of it. So that's not bad. I think that's pretty good. I think for for me that works really well. There is some distortion happening in the foot. It's not perfect, but it's really not that bad. It's pretty good. All right, so using that concept, I'm going to go through and rig the rest of the character. And then I'll show you how to hook all the individual pieces up. I'll be doing the same thing with the arm that we just did here. Um, I'll do, the, do it with the other leg. And then we'll join everything together into a fully functioning armature. Awesome.